guys, let's go. Seven, eight, <laughs> even faster now. Wow, absolutely mental stuff. And up to 60 miles per hour, I think, maybe even 2.59, something like that. bars uh, charged back up this is crazy this charges up super super fast so this is really not expected hello guys Ivan here and welcome to new video so today we have here the Mercedes AMG GT 63s e performance Four door coupe, Formatic Plus, a very long name for this amazing car. And today we will check out the exterior interior. We will go for a drive, we will try the race start, the launch control, and much more. So, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified for all future episodes. And, guys, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions on this model. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's start with the front. So as you can see this beautiful matte orange paint. This is the manufacturer paint, so the special paint. This one is called the Copper Orange Magno. Magno means uh, matte paint in the AMG branding. And basically this is like a metallic paint and over it we have the matte texture. So it has these like metallic flakes in it. A really beautiful shade. So now you can choose different manufacturer options for the GT4 door and now also for the new SL since yesterday basically. So let me know which would you go for. Uh, for this particular spec we don't have here the night package so we have actually chrome package which consists uh, of chrome line around the windows and also side skirts are in chrome. So you can get night package 1, night package 2 for this car and also the aero package which will give you the fixed wing here in this case we have the adjustable wing so this one is more like an elegant spec uh, but uh, still really exotic in this orange paint so check out here these two power domes so now, right now it's like three hours till sunset so we have a very nice sun actually and you can see how amazing uh, this looks really this is one of my favorite models from AMG uh, together with the SL and GT2 door this one is uh, yeah I would say top three for the AMG. Let's not forget the G-Wagon, but yeah, this one is definitely, <laughs> let's say, top five. Uh, yeah, I really like this one. So check out how sharp it looks in the front uh, with the, the, these really sharp front lights. Uh, so this is actually the facelift model. So we have these new openings for the facelift. So these are much more sharper than in the pre-facelift model. And with the facelift what was launched, the special version, which is the e-performance version. So this basically combines V8 engine together with the P3 hybrid system. And now it just turned it off because I quite discharged the batteries. We will see how fast they are recharging. So we have essentially a P3 hybrid, so-called on the rear axle, above the rear axle. So we have electronic drive unit on the back together with the high performance battery. Uh, which is made in-house in AMG. This gives the car really a lot of power together with the V8 engine. So here you can see how you can differentiate the e-performance. You have the batch e-performance under the V8 by Turbo. And also check out these wheels. These are 21 inch wheels. They have this like uh, aero design on these wheels. And these are Michelin 275-35ZR21. And these are the Pilot Sport 4S tires. And also we have carbon ceramic brakes 
so you need to stop uh, this power and with the ceramic brakes you can stop it very easily so the rear tires are 315 30 21 inch so let's check out and check out we'll check this as well beautiful two-tone interior so let's open the engine here so here you can see the handcrafted v8 by turbo handcrafted in falterbach in home of amg you can see here by christian bate i hopefully pronounced it correctly so together with engine and the hybrid unit we have actually 843 horsepower just crazy numbers and 1000 the torque 1400 newton meters of torque so the sprint from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour is only 2.9 seconds officially and we will test this if it will be actually a similar or if maybe faster we will see definitely so uh, yeah that's really really uh, crazy performance and the engine is mated to mct 9g so uh, mg speed shift transmission multi-clutch transmission and we have formatic plus all-wheel drive system which can distribute power where it's necessary so really fantastic numbers and yeah this one is the most powerful amg if we don't count the amg one obviously all right so now let's close the hood here you need to slam this a little bit so it's closed properly so now we will take a look around the car at 360 view as you guys like definitely let me know in the comment section down below how do you like the 360 walk so as you can see here the four-door silhouette the four-door coupe a coupe because it has the sloping roof line and also uh, because the windows are frameless so to me this is one of the best looking cars ever made check out the silhouette absolutely stunning so we have here the adjustable wing you can get the aero package with the fixed wing but let me know in the comment section down below which one do you prefer this one has an advantage that you can deploy or retract depending on your mood so you can extend or retract the wing i think this is a, a good difference and you can change it up depending on the situation your mood etc so check it out how it looks this one is extended so let's check out how the wing retracts and so this is how the car looks with the wing down i definitely prefer the wing up because it looks much more sporty here it looks a little bit more elegant definitely so depending uh, on your taste so the signature look for the v8 models are the squared exhaust pipes you can see them here so here we have this in not chrome because here you can see chrome this one is like a sort of like aluminum gray this kind of titanium color you can get this in dark one depending if you have a night package too and also check out here the diffuser uh, with this blade underneath and this signature line for the gt4 door together with mg logo mercedes benz logo in the middle and gt 63s this one is actually in red because we have the e-performance version so if you don't have e-performance this will be actually in black uh, so that's also something to notice as a differentiation and obviously the charging port you have this only for the gt4 door you can see here how it works you need to actually press the unlock button so i actually didn't know this and a friend of mine had to show me this and tell me to try this so yeah you need to press and then it will unlock the charging port because usually you have here uh, like a button which will uh, release the charging so this port is 3.8 kilowatts not very fast but you can top up from uh, about 0 to 100 in about an hour so i tried at home and i got about two and a half hours at my home outlet but you can do one hour for sure with the wall box and yeah just a stunning look uh, so so muscular so wide check out here the shoulder line from the roof line towards the doors how this car is white really really amazing presence and stance gorgeous silhouette one of the best looking cars on the market and made in uh, i would say in automotive history so i really like this one all right guys so now it's time to check out the interior but first we have soft closed doors check it out and frameless doors as well 
can see it here. So this has actually upgraded interior. So this is the Manufacture Napa Exclusive leather, two-tone color. And this one is the Niva gray and black. So this is absolutely fantastic and stunning looking interior. You have several options for the interior. So you can pick from different uh, versions and colors. So what I really like about this one, it has this uh, combination of white and black, which sometimes looks tacky, but here in this case, it looks really high end and really premium. So let's hop inside. All right guys, and this is how the front looks from the rear. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So let's close the doors. We will do a quick checkup of the interior. So here we have the Burmester 3D surround sound system, electric seats, heated seats, ventilated seats, and you can open a, you can also control the passenger seat. We have this matte carbon fiber trim. This is also extra, optional extra. And this beautiful uh, steering wheel. So this one, we have also three memory positions. I will just lock this one because I need to move to give you more perspective. So this is actually the facelifted steering wheel, the AMG Performance steering wheel. In this case, we have actually a two-tone option. I will also lock myself. So here we have two-tone option, which is this Neva gray and black. So it looks uh, really interesting. When I saw this for the first time, I was like, yeah, I'm not really sure about this combination, why it is uh, in this case, but it's something unusual and I really grown to love it uh, very quickly actually. So I think it looks really great and uh, you have many, many options to choose from. So yeah, depending on your liking. We have also uh, MBUX system here and these beautiful vents, which are inspired uh, by the aviation. I really like these vents. So yeah, let's check out here the seats. Uh, what I really like, they have the a Falterbach crest at the headrest and also AMG uh, badge here. And this beautiful diamond stitching as well on the inside and on the outside, it's in black color. So you can see how beautiful this seat looks with the diamond stitching here and multi contour seats together. You can inflate bolsters here, also massage seats, so full comfort for the seats, absolute, absolutely fantastic. And you can see here the trim as well, this matte carbon trim, also here in the middle in this console. So this one actually represents the V8. So you have here displays, trackpad, and touchpad, and also here the shifter with Falterbach Crest logo. So guys, check out here the animation when I turn on the vehicle. So guys, when you turn on the vehicle, when you start it, let's do it. So you can hear this electric sound. That's why, uh, that's because we are in the electric uh, hybrid mode. So comfort mode starts in electric, if the battery is um, enough charged. And you have also electric mode, which we currently uh, don't have, because we don't have enough charge. And if I turn it, to sport the engine actually turns on we have also here then the sport plus and also the race mode so the engine always works in sport mode in comfort mode it switches between the hybrid electric drive and combustion drive so that's also something to differentiate and uh, to give you information you can change the individual mode how you want and slippery mode is for the snow or if it's very like wet so that's the difference, uh, definitely. Also with these buttons, you can change, for example, sound and uh, just about anything what you can change in the car, transmission, dynamics, uh, parking, uh, suspension, and yeah, many, many stuff. Wing, you can deploy. So here in the performance, for the e-performance version, here we have the sub-menu, which is only for this car, uh, energy flow. And you can see here on Newton meters, and also on this one, this is, uh, for different drives and here on the drive you can see different stats so here on you can also see the drive for the electric unit and for the combustion unit here you can also see in terms of the battery statistics and the temperature as well if it's in blue it's cold green is optimal temperature and the red one would be too hot so now we can check out the back seats and then we will go for a drive 
So here we have the first class package for the rear seats. This basically means that we have this uh, large panel in the middle. All right, so I'm right now in the back seat behind myself, essentially. And you have, you can see here the door packet, also Burmester surround sound system. Let's check out here the AMG. We have performance statistics. So when someone is driving, you can see here the vehicle data, engine data, and dynamic data as well. So many settings to check out here. Also you can change the ambient lighting. So here you can see the brightness also which color. And here is how much room I have for my legs. So I would say this is good 10 centimeters or about 4 inches. And when I'm sitting, it's yeah, it's pretty fine. Of course, if you expect something like S-Class, it's not happening here. This one is the sports car, four-door sports car, four-door GT basically. So really great looking uh, in terms of the design. Also check out here, Falterbach crest and AMG logo here in the middle, Falterbach crest. Also here we have the storage space. This one is pretty deep actually. Also here we have the USB-A 12 volt socket and also here check it out. This one is the large socket and this beautiful matte carbon. Check out here. So these are actually cooled and also heated and adjustable as well. And beautiful uh, Neva gray. Also here underneath you have a isofix for child seat. So the sunroof here is two section and is really wonderfully looking. Check it out. All right guys, so here in the back seats, in terms of the space, I have just enough space, I would say. It's not like super roomy like in the S-Class, but uh, we don't expect this from this car. So check out here how much room I have. I would say this is about five centimeters, maybe six. This is about two, two and a half inches, uh, more or less. So I would say it's enough for me. I'm 186 centimeters or six feet and uh, one inch, a little bit more than that. So yeah, in these back seats, you are feeling also like a race driver even though you are not driving, so that's really something uh, what I noticed in this rear section. All right, so now let's check out the boot. So I have here some of my stuff, as you can see, charging cables, backpack, and here this jump, this bump, is actually because of uh, the battery. So here are the plug-in hybrid batteries and uh, hybrid unit. That's why we have this like, uh, sort of jump here. So if you don't have this e-performance version, then you don't have this jump actually. And you have a little bit more in terms of the volume. You can see on the screen with and without how much liters and cubic feet is that. Also, check out here the Burmester uh, subwoofer in the back. And also here we have the parcel shelf as well. The boot is electric, so you can close it with the touch of a button or from the key fob. We will now go for a drive. The plug-in hybrid battery is almost discharged to the point that it turned on the combustion engine. So we will actually see how much it will charge back into the batteries when we will drive. So we can go now to the, let's go to race mode straight away and we will see how much it will charge back up. We will also try, right now it's, you have like four bars and we have only half of uh, the one bar, so not a lot charge, actually quite a minimum uh, when it will turn on the petrol engine. So we will now see uh, how fast it will uh, charge back. This car with the facelift, to me it seems it's more quiet uh, than before, so it's really a comfortable car, this one. And already I can see that the charge is going up. So this is really remarkable. Many people are actually worried uh, why and how this will work. So many people are actually worried how this will work, how much charge it will actually hold. And yeah, basically they say that it will dis discharge really fast and then you are left with uh, no power basically. 
very little power and only uh, with added weight uh, because of the plug-in hybrid but this is not really true because as you can see it I'm driving for like a minute and already it charged up half of the one bar so I'm trying to find if you can see here the percentage of the charge up I can see that actually in the mobile uh, app Mercedes me app so here we also see temperatures of uh, the engine and also for the uh, electric unit and also for the battery so big difference of the AMG uh, P3 hybrid unit is that it is cooled uh, the individual battery cells so you have these small batteries in the P3 hybrid and they are individually cooled with this liquid which is floating uh, around them and uh, yeah basically uh, it's always at optimal temperature on average 45 degrees Celsius so uh, it's a little bit more a little bit less depending on the situation but it essentially keeps the battery at ideal temperature ideal temperature uh, so it can perform uh, the best and also the aging is not as fast if it's uh, in this um, uh, constant temperature so it's also really great so check it out we already have two bars I was trying to find the set things we are already at two bars uh, charged back up this is crazy okay so this charges up super super fast in terms of the driving and charging okay so this is really not expected I thought it would be definitely slower but yeah it's, it's really fast we are driving normally no hardcore driving nothing like that so the hybrid can actually use the engine to give it more power and it actually recharge back the battery very very fast so I'm not worried at all that this will perform at high level actually so uh, yeah really really good stuff so you can see the 360 cameras everything uh, what you need for daily driving is here in this car so we will go now to comfort mode and the ride height should be enough okay so it's enough no problem we go back to race mode in terms of the hybrid unit you have here the hybrid which supports the uh, combustion engine so it gives it more power more performance and yeah that's basically the idea of this uh, plug-in hybrid it's not necessarily for the range because the range of this uh, plug-in hybrid unit is only like a 12 kilometers and that's about I would say uh, six seven miles you will see that on the screen so the point of this plug-in hybrid is not necessarily the range because we have small range here it only supports and gives more power to the combustion engine so that's the beauty of this uh, p3 hybrid system and we will try this today as well so here you can see all kinds of statistics about the combustion and electric uh, drive how it works together also here you have a, like a small sections about different statistics this one is for the temperature right now it's a, on ideal temperature and just about everything the blue one is the cold uh, the green one says go so it's all right and I assume a red one would be too hot and it would uh, actually need to be cooled down uh, the steering is really nice and has this sort of like a sporty feel really really nice also here you can see how everything works basically already we are charged up back three bars already so if I now go to electric mode it will shut down the engine check it out we are now driving on the electric mode and we have range here six kilometers which is about four miles so when it's fully charged up you have about 12 10 kilometers depending how you drive so today I got about 10 kilometers but if you are in comfort mode in a hybrid mode then actually on also when it's discharged and some turns and roundabouts it shut it off the engine and I got about 
I think 20 kilometers of total electric range so this is really great something uh, yeah how it can be more efficient here with pedal shifters they have really nice feel and this MCT transmission has so much power it's crazy Also, we have pops and banks from the exhaust. You can also shift to the first gear if you want. So the car, I imagine on a slick surface like a wet or snow, it can be, I think, uh, pretty tail happy. So let's go actually here and let's measure the acceleration. Okay, so I got 2.83 seconds. This is the record actually which I got. So I got before 2.86 and now 2.83. And not even hot tires. This is absolutely crazy. Two point seven eight. <laughs> even faster now. Wow. So I think if you have warm tires, you will get under 2.7, like 2.6 maybe, 2.65, something like that. Absolutely mental, absolutely mental stuff. All right guys, so here we have the drag race stats. 2.78 and 2.83 are the best times, uh, yeah, as you can see here. So this one actually hit 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour in 2.78. So up to 60 miles per hour, I think this is 2.7, maybe even under. And this was not with not the hot tires. So with the hot tires, it can definitely go under 2.7 to up to 100 kilometers per hour and up to 60 miles per hour, I think maybe even 2.59, something like that. So this car pulls absolutely crazy. So you cannot have any wheel spin and then you will get uh, the best time. So you need to have warm tires for these to perform the best. And check out, already we are uh, charged back up. Almost 100% on the battery unit. really enjoyable to drive this in electric mode I never actually thought I would say this but it's really great actually so uh, you can pop very easily for example into the shops a few miles few kilometers from home and go back on electric drive you don't need to turn on the engine for example also if you are coming back home late or if you go if you go out uh, very early then you can just drive very easily on electric drive and yeah you can arrive or go away in complete silence which is uh, what is actually this for as well so you have just enough range to go for example from the city center to the countryside and then you can drive on the engine or when you are driving on the highway you can charge up the batteries and then when you arrive to the city uh, you can turn on the electric drive or for example to the residential area now it will speed up in fully electric mode can also steer so check it out you can hold the lane and steer as well without me doing anything this is thanks to the fully assistance system package so we have all systems here the distorting distorting plus 
active steering assist and active lane assist. You just need to hold the steering wheel. You don't need to do this motion of the steering. Just hold it and the steering can sense that you are holding the steering wheel. So basically I am now not steering the car still itself. I'm just holding the steering wheel. So depending how you drive, you can easily go down with the consumption if you are driving in the hybrid mode. So today from start I have 25 kilometers on fully electric driving and 79 kilometers on a petrol engine. From that also the consumption is calculated. But this car is really great because you can drive in many different ways. You can drive it easily, you can drive it hard and the consumption will change depending on the fact how you are driving. So what I saw is the average consumption on the electric driving was around 30 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. For this kind of weight uh, of a car, I think that's a, that's a good consumption. Right now we have like 26, check it out, at 90 kilometers per hour. That's about 55 miles per hour. You don't really feel also the additional weight as much as I thought going into this test so i thought you will feel it much more actually but it's not that big of a difference actually so because of the balance you have uh, at the front you have the petrol engine and at the rear you have the p3 hybrid unit so it's balanced so it really goes down depending on your preference what do you prefer do you, do you need as much power do you want as much power or uh, the v8 would be just fine for you the 63 or the 63s there is also the six cylinder lineup the 43 and also the 53 so you can pick from very large variety of uh, engines all right guys so that's it for this video definitely let me know how you enjoy this episode in the comment section down below and stay tuned also for the night drive with this vehicle have a wonderful day and i will see you soon in the next video